Ladies and gents, the Wizard Paragon is arriving. Coming in at 500k XP to unlock and an in-game cost of 750k, the Magus Perfectus description says, only the most perfect wizard can channel the ancient powers of the beyond. Wow, so deep and inspirational. Anyways, let's unlock it. And there it is in its full glory. Now, I should mention this is an early access build, so a huge shout out to Ninja Kiwi for allowing me and other creators to show you guys uh, what the Wizard Paragon has to offer before it actually comes out. And it will be coming out in just, well, I don't know the exact date, but very soon. And just before I show you the Paragon, let's just go over some quick details of other parts of the update, one of which uh, is uh, an avatar. So I thought I'd mention this, you guys can get this cute looking monkey avatar if you spend anything in the BT6 shop. While also using somebody's creator code. So the creator code, uh, for those who don't know, is just a way to support your favorite creator. Give them a cut of uh, anything you purchase from the shop. So you can choose anybody. I just personally choose this iSub guy because uh, he's decent, I guess. Also with this update comes four new quests, which we're not going to cover right now. And a skin of my favorite hero. We've got Jiangxi Sada skin. Apparently Jiangxi is some sort of Chinese vampire. Not really sure if I'm into those kind of things, but... Yeah, I always love to see them new heroes, alright? And also one new map that's update that I'm not going to be showcasing for the Wizard Paragon because, as you can see, it's kind of hard. Well, it's labeled advanced, but uh, the quirk of this map is that the lanes go further and further and further to the top right. Hence the name of the map, Erosion. So over time, all this land here will get uh, destroyed with water. And by the end of it, around 100, we just have, uh, once again, a very short map. Almost like blondes in a way, but water. But yeah, you can see that um, would be kind of difficult to showcase a giant paragon in such a small track length like that. So with that, I've got another save here that hopefully should be easier to showcase the paragon. I already got a lot of farms, a lot of wizards set up. Now all that's left is to save up $750,000 for it. In case you guys didn't see the details of this paragon yet, because they posted it on Reddit and on their uh, Patch Notes video on their Genjikiba's YouTube channel. Even before playing with myself, I can already tell this is probably the best Paragon they've done so far. It is incredibly detailed, and also somehow is able to cater to both casual players and hardcore players at the same time. I'll show you more in a second, but basically what that means is uh, the Paragon will do just fine if you don't micro it. So, uh, you know, the lazy slash casual, me casual method. But there's also a couple abilities that can make the Wizard Paragon just that much stronger. And from what I saw, I believe the Paragon does include all three paths of the tower, which is nice to see, especially after the uh, disaster that was the NG Paragon. Kind of feel bad for, I guess, the early Paragons there, where, I mean, it's good they got them first, or that's a nice perk of them, but as more and more Paragons get added, they'll kind of more feel like, well, very simple in comparison to the later Par Paragons that are getting released. That's probably why I guess they're taking a while to release each Paragon. The last Paragon, the Ace Paragon, was out like 8-9 months ago. That's quite a long time, at least relative to how quickly they pushed out the, you know, couple Paragons. Anyways, you guys won't unsee this, but I just want to go back to the profile picture to show you. Like, maybe it's a camera perspective, but that hand just looks way too big in proportion to the rest of the Wizard. That's all, that's all. It's pretty much a nothing burger, but I figured I'd just, uh point out on it anyways. Moving on, I should once again mention the Paragon requirements, or at least the requirements to get a high degree Paragon. That is, in single player you need $250,000 of other Wizard Monkeys that are not tier 5 in order to fully max it out. And also, I don't know if anyone saw that Insta screen, but that's kind of new. Or kind of like fresh rather than just a dark background. But yeah, it looks to me the most uh, efficient way to get that 250k is by sparing Arcane Spikes, each of which costs about I would estimate about 13,000 or so. Yes, I did die in between cuts, by the way, but we have uh, 19 Arcane Spikes now. I did the math, and that is enough. In fact, a little bit overboard. All right, now about the Paragon requirements. We also need 100 tiers, but we already have that with the 402, 19 402 Arcane Spikes. That's over 100 tiers of them. And also 16.2 million pops on all Wizards in total, which we're not going to get. At least I don't think I'll last time when I wait another 20 rounds, but we are pretty much there. I do want to give you guys a pretty high beefy Paragon, maybe like 40 to 60. So we'll just also add a couple Paragon totems, which will delay the rounds by getting it by a couple rounds or so. Actually, how could I forget? There was a... I dropped this at the start of the game, so I can sell this for uh, enough money for the uh, Magus Perfectus. So with that out of the way, who is ready? Let's buy it. And what degree do we get on it? Uh, 63. Wow, okay. I blew that out of the water. Well, okay, so a lot taken. There's two abilities, 
And uh, there's also a button over here. And a grave account that is 91,000. <laughs> That's right, folks. And also below that, there is another bar. This is uh, Graveyard Mana. So each of the two abilities here drain either the zombie counter or the graveyard counter. I'm actually not sure which is which because they, they don't say the name. But let's go ahead and use uh, the one on the right first. Or the one on the top if, you see, if you're looking on that side. So let's see. This one drains uh, the mana. Basically the phoenix goes away and the archmage itself throws spewin. Well not hot lava but just... An incredible amount of, uh, I don't know, damage. Also, wall fire. Drop along the way. That was a really bad time to use, though. As you saw, it keeps draining even when it's not attacking. So, uh, I guess it's good to leave it at the front of the track or when you really need it. Also, as uh, the wizard attacks, the main wizard attacks, you see the graveyard mana bar fills up again. So, uh, it's actually pretty fast, in fact. So fast that uh, the ability isn't even up again. But you saw when it hits max, I think it drains a little bit. And I'm pretty sure I noticed that the giant uh, Dark Phoenix spewing the uh, hot uh, Dark Balls uh, um, out of context. But yeah, let's use it again. It is gone. And let's have it drain again. Yeah, that is pretty sick, all right. The bigger the bar is, the longer it lasts. Yeah, as you can see here, the Phoenix does not attack while the Wizard is um, charging up again. So it's, it's actually really weak. Even degree 63, that is like not doing much. That's why I'll use the second ability. This one creates a DOT effect and spawns uh, zombies UMGs. That's part of the uh, bottom path incorporation for those who uh, would like... Wait, where is it? So far, we only saw top middle, but there it is. There is the bottom. That cooldown is incredibly fast, by the way. So fast that we could probably use it again. And you saw that it did drain the entire graveyard. But good news that it's already back up to 62,000. So uh, let's use it again. Here are the uh, zombies UMGs. Uh, no more uh, Phoenix, but you see... Uh, ZMGs are easily enough to just... <laughs> yeah, one ZMG pretty much one-shots the uh, F-Pad there. Pretty cool. And uh, I guess after some point, the uh, ZMG... Zombie ZMGs turn into zombie BPs, and then they are officially gone. And there is the Graver account going back up while, you know, the Wizard is stacking balloons in his radius. And yeah, again, this is a lot to take in. So there's one more button on the left here. What does this do specifically? Oh, it turns the Phoenix off, I think. Yeah, it's not attacking. Not stacking. Oh, is that like so that you can uh, manipulate maybe the graveyard? Because the thing is, see the graveyard's going down because we're, we're popping loots outside the, uh, well, Magus's um, radius. So if I just want to fill it back to 100k, I can just toggle that off. So let's uh, turn off again. I think I just auto, uh, it auto turns back on again. I think if it hits back to, yeah, I see the X there. Turn it back on to create zombies. Yeah, once it hits 100k, it, it goes back to. It's trying to drain itself. All right, good to know. Let me just drain all of the graveyard then. And yeah, there it is. Back down to 200 graveyard only. Need some time to regenerate this. So again, turning the drain off. Yeah, I think it automatically does it for you to make it easier. Because yeah, I wasn't trolling it and was doing the exact same thing. Again, this is really sick. Like for example, if I need damage right now, and I definitely need it, I will just activate the Phoenix. And uh, yeah, instantly the ZMGs are gone. Yep. We're, dead. We're dying here, so... Activate, activate the Phoenix. The thing is, you almost have the Phoenix active at all times, because look how little... How slowly it drains your graveyard. But yeah, I guess that makes sense. Also, this does increase the graveyard mana. Okay, so for the round 140 F-Bat here... Uh, how do I want to play this out? I think I want to use the uh, the other ability. I have really just been using the Zombie ZMG, but... Let's uh, wait a little bit. DPS, by the way. It's actually pretty fast for a C3. Let's use it now, though. Holy crap. Well, that was even faster. For those who didn't see there. And yeah, there's no way to turn it off. It'll, it'll keep draining all of its mana. And now it's back down to 298. And no way to regain any of it back until we, uh, you know, recharge it again. You see the single target with only the beam? Very, very, very bad. I'm gonna actually go for, uh, what do you call it? The other ability here. Let's wait for a higher graveyard account because it spawns more ZMGs. And also a DOT effect, right. How fast is this DOT effect on the bad? Because apparently it lasts 30 seconds. It looks like it doesn't work through layers though. But it looks like that's uh, barely enough. Anyways, uh, yep. Gotta turn the uh, Phoenix back on. Put those DTs there. In case me playing around with all the abilities constantly was a bit confusing. Let me just show you what Ninja Q is written in the features of the Paragon. 
Perhaps I should have read that first, but yeah, the core of the Magus is a toggle to and from a Draining Beam, which deals very small single target damage, but absorbs favorite mana as it damages and destroys bones. That is, again, the weak attack that you saw. And while toggled off from the Drain, the Magus attacks with a powerful Arcane Spike that deals massive damage, and also revives Gleam that slays, while Dark Phoenix circles overhead. Attack it with a Fireball Breath, and the Rito Fireball. And then we have the Phoenix Explosion ability, which is the uh, one on my course over here. Sets all balloons on screen on a fire for 30 seconds and sp spawns uh, one zombie ZMG. By the way, me EFK in here just meant that the graveyard dropped down to a dangerous 25,000. So uh, if you, like, it's actually very important. Like, you can really maximize um, the potential of this. Like, it only takes two seconds of turning the beam on. The beam on to have, like, a huge uptime on the Phoenix. And it looks like it drains faster. I, I didn't notice this. Because I guess the Phoenix was too strong, but now that the balloons are getting, uh, you know, high rounds, uh, the main wizard is draining uh, way faster. See the arcane spike beam attack? Yep. We're going down like a thousand mana per second when it's attacking like that. So that's cool. An arcane metamorphosis is what you saw at the first ability I used. Consumes all graveyard mana and transforms the Magus briefly into an ultimate form, which decimates everything with a flame cascade attack and lasts longer. The uh, more mana consumes. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, I gotta turn it on, because this is, uh, scan tough. Yeah, I'm gonna use, uh, the end of 158 here, just to get as much as possible. Come on. In fact, let me just fill it up to max. There we go, there we go. It'll take about 10,000 to beat 158 there. As cool as this is, one thing I may not be looking forward to is the one tower test. Oh my god. That's gonna be a lot of micro involved here. That's all I can say. So yeah, final note is that Magus was designed for armchair players, so it will fill and consume graveyard on its own. But the goal is to create a more actively controlled paragon for those who want to enjoy microwing. Which I guess, yeah, I, I sure like uh, having a lot of variety from my paragon there. Also, almost died. I should also mention that, yes, the graveyard mana also gets consumed if the while the um, wizard is using its main attack. Let me see if the beam can hold out one CC3 here. Yeah, there we go. This is a good way to... Uh, Recharge. Also, that range is massive. Way bigger than the uh, wizard normal right, wizard range indicates, so that's good. Alright, here comes the bad. So, I want to use uh, Arcane Metamorphosis. Yeah, this is actually pretty nuts, guys. Like, this is so much stronger than the uh, normal wizard. You have no idea. And unfortunately, it's going to run out now. So, uh, let's see if we can somehow clutch up the three pads here. Um, I got to use a little bit. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Uh, what if I quickly use the zombie ability? Nope. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Well, let's try it again. Okay, this time I have Arcane Metamorphosis for all three bats, so this will be better. Let's use it now. It was not too late, luckily, and come on. We've got, like, 20 seconds of this guy, and honestly, yeah. It felt short the first time I used it, but... Nah, if you time it properly, it can, uh... Put it into work. Unfortunately, yeah, you have to wait for it to entirely consume, which is very... Very, very, uh, yeah, tough. Gotta find a way to survive the downtime, and, uh, for this part, uh, I think I want to use, uh, wait. Let's get up to 60,000, then use the zombie, because I want the DOT. I want to try the DOT. So let's go now. There's that DOT coming in. And, uh, okay, the zombie ZMGs are going way too far. Way too far forward. Yeah, personally to me, it seems like it's better just to go for the, um, you know, Arcane Metamorphosis, rather than... The other ability. But yeah, that might just be me. How about I use it early then? I is that better? Well, testing again, and, um... It is better, but... Not by a whole lot. Usually at this point in the game, uh, if I uh, try the armchair gameplay style, I would lose. So it's time to start using the abilities. And hell, even the Archie Metamorphosis is kind of struggling. It was only able to take down the bad layer, although I know I didn't have the Graver Mana fully filled. Um, am I able to clutch this up? I have to spawn zombies MGs. Only three of them for this one. Which is kind of scary, but they're still good enough to one-shot F DTs at this point. I think when they turn to BFBs, they also create a little explosion effect. I don't know if that's just me. But yeah, that seems pretty cool also. Uh, I gotta drain a lot over here. Back down to zero, Grammar. Yeah, if I don't have the Arcane Metamorphosis, then using all those zombies doesn't seem to add much damage. And I do have the Archimedes Morphosis now, but I think that's way too late, right? 
A little bit too late, yeah. Alright, once again then, I will use the DOT effect. Also, what's weird is that, how come that first pad doesn't have DOT on it? I thought it would throw flame on everything, but it seems like that's not the case. Or maybe a bug or something, I don't know, but I think, I think it's game over, folks. As much as it sucks to say. I would assume with higher degrees, the cooldown gets a little bit faster. Come on. Nope, still dead TDT is, well, it's a good run. 55 million pops on the Wizard Monkey. But yeah, those are my thoughts. It is a high skill cap Paragon, but it can still certainly be used if you just want to, you know, keep it around. Let me know your thoughts on the Paragon down below. And once again, stay tuned because the update is coming very, very soon. Subscribe to catch more of the update on this channel when it comes out and uh, have a magical day.